गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी शाल स्टडी द सेकेंड लेसन जोग्राफी द फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ इंडिया इन दैट यू विल द पेनसुलर क्लाइमेट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंट रिलीफ फीचर्स ऑफ इंडिया इन द लास्ट क्लास आई हैव डिस्कस्ड यू अबाउट द नॉर्थर्न प्लेन्स अबाउट हिमालयन माउंटेन्स नेक्स्ट आवर नेक्स्ट फीचर रिलीफ फीचर ऑफ इंडिया इज द पेनसुलर क्लाइमेट नाउ फर्स्ट वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज पेनसुलर पेनसुलर मींस an area surrounded by water on three side suppose take the example here our country the southern side the southern side is surrounded by water on its three side you can say one two or three three side is surrounded by water here we have the here we have our indian sea we have bengal and indian ocean this is termed as peninsula now what is plateau plateau is a table land a table land is round hills we cannot say they have peak If a if a mountain is having peak or a elevated place is having peak, it is termed as mountain. But here we have flat land. Flat land means the elevated. The area will be elevated from the surrounding areas and will not have peak. That will be termed as the plateau. Now what is peninsular plateau? The peninsular plateau is composed of means the peninsular plateau is composed of or made of. Igneous and metamorphic rock. Means we can say crystalline old igneous and metamorphic rocks. So metamorphic rocks we can say where this igneous come. Igneous we know that the our India our peninsula plateau was the part of a great big land known as Gondwana land, which has been formed by the drifting of Gondwana land. We know that our peninsula plateau has been formed by our southern India has been formed by the drifting of Gondwana land. The peninsular plateau is made of black soil. The peninsular plateau, we know that it is made of black soil because it is a metamorphic rock. It is a rock where igneous rock turns into black soil only. And this black soil is of volcanic origin. It is formed by volcanoes from the collapsation of tectonic plates. Here, here I am discussing about the collapsation of tectonic plates. Now, come to the next point. The plateau is broad and shallow valleys and rocky hills. What are the characteristic features of peninsular plateau? The plateau is broad. This is wide, shallow. You have shallow valleys and rounded hills. I have already told you that you will not have peak. Now, the two major broad division of the Nisla plateau is Central Highland and Dragon Plateau. Central Highlands and Dragon Plateau. I will tell you where the Central Highland is. This part is Central Highlands or Malwa Plateau. The major part lies in Central Highlands. We can say here we have the Part of it lies north of the Narmada River. This is River Narmada, Narmada River. And towards the north of Narmada River, we have what? Central Highlands. Now, this Central Highlands is divided into two parts. That is called the Peninsula and Malwa Plateau, Malwa and Chota Nagpur Plateau. It has been divided into two parts. That is called Malwa Plateau and Chota Nagpur Plateau. Covered by Vidya in the north. Vidya at the north. Here north we will have Vidya. Vidya will have north. Aravallis to the northwest. Aravallis we will have here. Aravallis here Vidya. Here we have Vidya. And South Kurna. This is surrounded by the three side. And South Kurna to the south. South Kurna we will have here. So this is what we have concept says. Now here major river flowing this area will be. We can say the major river flowing this area will be. Chamba, Sind, and Delwa. Three major rivers flow in this area. Now, wider in the west, in the western side, in the this side, we can see the plateau is wider. And whereas narrower in the east, in the west, it will be wider. In the east, it will be narrow. We can say it will be narrow. Here it will be wide. We can say. Now, what is the characteristic? This wider will be. This narrower is also known as Chota Nagpur. Plateau. 
you can say this plateau is in a triangular shape. The decorative plateau is higher in the west. The western side is higher. This, this side will be higher. This side will be higher than the this side. Western side. This side is higher than the western side. Now, the east, eastward extension goes to Garu, Khasi, Jantia in Assam. The eastern one, most eastern one extension goes to Garo, Khas, Garo Hills, Khasi Hills and Jantia Hills is the eastern one extension of this. Now, this, this, this dragon plant is literally divided into two parts, that is called western part and eastern part. Now, between Arabian Sea, Arabian Sea and Arabian Sea, between the, or between the Arabian Sea or the coastal plain of Western coastal plain, we have East Western Ghat. Western Ghat we have, and Western Ghat we have, then the Eastern Ghat we have, Eastern Ghat. The Eastern Western Ghat is more higher, or we say this is higher than the Western Ghat. This is less high, but this is more high, this is more. The here, the most high is the, the highest mountain peak is known as Anamli. We got Anamli is the highest peak in Western Ghat, whereas in Eastern Ghat, the highest mountain we can say highest water range is 500 degree. Now this is less continuous. This, this will have break through in their range. In this system, that will have break through. I have a break through this they are more not continuous. But whereas this is continuous point form in the distant land. So this was the end of this section, the peninsula plateau. Once again, I am making you understand about the plateau. The second plateau is a triangular in shape. It is lies to the north of Satpura or the south of Narmada, the plateau lies south of the Narmada. It is higher in the western side and lower in the eastern side. So, it is majorly divided into four categories that is called Eastern Ghat and Western Ghat. Western Ghat is higher than the Eastern Ghat. So, this is the end of the session. Thank you and have a nice day.